Hi everyone, it's your friend with the funny family and I have another funny family story coming up for you right now. Just remember, it's about the story, not the makeup, not a makeup tutorial. Also remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Before we jump into today's story, bear with me for some shameless promotion. We have shirts. I have this shirt. I have this shirt. They come in other colors. I have this sweater. Friday's too far away. And of course, what would Pineapple Thursday be without a sweet, awesome racerback tank top? We have shirts. Link below. Buy a shirt. Okay, now that our shameless promotion is done, let's get started, shall we? So when my brother was little, he had a big imagination, okay? Like this kid would tell stories and dress up in costumes and just, he was fantastic. There's the fantastic drinking game. We're starting a fantastic drinking game, which is every time I say the word fantastic, we have to take a shot. I'll be right back. Cheers. So to get to the today's story, my brother had a big imagination. And um, one day my dad comes home to find his son in the yard with a bucket on his head. So he goes inside to my mom and he's like, why is our son wearing a bucket on his head in the front yard. My mom says, I think he's pretending to be a cowboy, but why don't you go ask him, see, see what he's doing? So my dad goes outside and he's like, hey bud, what are you doing? Why do you have a bucket on your head? And sure enough, my brother responds, well, I'm being a cowboy, this is my cowboy hat. This isn't a bucket, like it's a cowboy hat, duh. Anyone with an imagination can clearly see my cowboy hat. So my dad is like, bud, you can't wear a bucket on your head. Like, let's go to the store and actually buy you a cowboy hat. Makes sense. So they go to the store and my dad buys him a nice little cowboy hat. And he's like, there, now you don't have to wear the bucket on your head because you can just wear a cowboy hat when you are pretending to be a cowboy. Thanks, dad. So I don't know if just a few weeks go by or a few days go by, but my dad comes home from work and there is my brother wearing a bucket on his head this chap. So he's like, bud, I, I bought you that cowboy hat. Why, why do you have a bucket on your head? <laughs> Please take the bucket off your head. My brother, of course, being a wise three-year-old is like, well, that's a cowboy hat and I'm a football player. So you can't wear a cowboy hat and be a football player. You have to have a football helmet. So this is my football helmet. It makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. So my dad goes back to the store and buys this kid a football helmet. He's like, don't wear the bucket. Now you have a football helmet and you have a cowboy hat. Just pretend with those two things what, you know, what, what you're pretending to be. Now I should state that this goes on for years. We have picture after picture after picture of my brother dressed up in various costumes and he would randomly go to my parents and be like, hey, would you help me tie this football on my back? And they're like, sure and then they like he walks off and they're like what do you think he's dressing up as this kid was filled with disneyland magic p.s with the football on his back he came out with socks that were like way too big for him like off his feet and he had a broom oh and a ski mask he had a ski mask on and a straw on his face diver at three imagination you can't talk and do at the same time so of course my brother can imagine anything with this bucket. It can be a hat, a helmet, a anything, you know, he can just put the bucket on his head and, and wear it for, you know, whatever he needs. I'm sure my mom was kind of like, please don't wear the bucket around outside. Can you imagine the neighbors just like, why does that kid have a bucket on his head? Is he challenged? More like creative. Mm-hmm. Whenever my dad would come home and my brother would be wearing the bucket on his head, he would just ask him, what are you today? What, who are you pretending to be today? And he would tell him and then my dad would go to the store and buy the correlating hat for that character to make sure that he didn't wear a bucket on his head anymore. Insert picture of my brother being Frosty the Snowman here. Yeah, I'm digging the pink. I'm into it. The next time you see someone with a bucket on their head, don't ask if they're mentally challenged. Ask how creative they are. I finished my story and I didn't do lipstick. Hold on. So yeah, later when my sister and I came along, not only would he dress himself up, he would dress us up as well. We were always doing puppet shows. It was not a surprise when we liked theater in high school. Let's just say that. We're gonna try it. This is how they said to do it. Fill it in and then smudge. 
and then gloss. I still think it's a little too red. It's too red, I hate it. That was a fun try, guys. Okay, for real lipstick this time. Let's see. Oh yeah. So comment down below with your best costume ever, whether it was a football tied to your back, two long socks and a ski mask, or if it was something store-bought. I'd love to hear or see. If you wanna post them, post them to my Instagram, Pineapple Thursdays. And I will see you all next week. That's my funny family story for today. Join me next time for more funny family stories on Pineapple Thursday. Because Friday, just too far away.